Welcome to the Laird Thermal Systems product training module on thermoelectric cooler assemblies. This presentation will provide a description of thermoelectric cooler assemblies, explain different types of heat transfer mechanisms, and provide an overview of Laird Thermal Systems thermoelectric cooler assemblies and temperature controller product lines. Thermoelectric cooler assemblies often referred to as Peltier cooler assemblies, are compact cooling units that control the temperature in a wide range of applications. Products can reach the market faster if the designer starts from a standard thermoelectric cooler assembly platform and modifies it. Thermoelectric cooler assemblies offer several advantages over other cooling technologies like compressor-based systems. They can cool to well below ambient and offer precise temperature control, achieving 0 0.01 degrees centigrade under steady state conditions. They are also highly reliable, with almost no maintenance, and are mountable in any orientation. Compared to compressor-based systems, they are much lighter with a smaller footprint. In addition, new government restrictions of traditional and natural refrigerants, central to traditional compressor-based systems, make thermoelectrics a more advantageous thermal management solution. Working with a manufacturer that specializes in thermoelectric cooler assemblies normally results in a product that is optimized for performance in a smaller footprint and has a lower power requirement. Standard thermoelectric cooler assemblies use heat transfer mechanisms designed to absorb and dissipate heat by convection, conduction, or through liquid heat exchangers. Here you see the six heat transfer mechanisms available for absorbing and dissipating heat. In this training module, we will focus on the three most commonly used mechanisms, air to air, direct to air, and liquid to air. Air to air assemblies offer dependable compact performance by cooling objects via convection. Heat inside the chamber is absorbed by the cold side heat exchanger. The thermoelectric coolers pump heat from the cold side heat exchanger and dissipate through the hot side heat exchanger to the outside environment. The internal air circulation from the cold side fan helps minimize temperature gradient within the enclosure. This configuration is commonly used in sample storage chambers for medical and analytical instrumentation, electronic enclosures, and compartment storage for food and beverage applications. Direct-to-air assemblies offer dependable compact performance by cooling objects via conduction. Heat is absorbed through a cold plate and thermoelectric cooler pumps heat through a hot side heat exchanger into the ambient environment. The internal cold plate allows the chamber to be completely sealed, which aids in containing biohazardous liquids and minimizing contamination. It also saves space in small chambers that cannot accommodate a cold side heat exchanger. This configuration is commonly used in smaller sample storage chambers for medical and analytical instrumentation, spot cooling for laser systems, or sensitive optical electronics used in the industrial and telecom markets. Liquid-to-air assemblies cool or heat a coolant in a recirculating liquid circuit. Heat is absorbed by an external liquid heat exchanger and moved through a liquid circuit by an external pump. Heat is absorbed by the cold side liquid heat exchanger then pumped by thermoelectric coolers through the hot side heat exchanger and dissipated to the ambient environment. This configuration is ideal for spot cooling where localization of a thermoelectric assembly is not possible due to space constraints. Common applications are imaging systems, medical diagnostics, and laser systems in the industrial, semiconductor, and medical markets. Laird Thermal Systems offers a wide product portfolio of thermoelectric cooler assemblies that offer superior performance, compact form factors, and high coefficients of performance. There are seven distinct thermoelectric cooler assembly product families 
designed for either a specific cooling capacity range, temperature differential range, or tight space constraint. Many of these assembly series offer multiple heat transfer mechanisms. This portfolio map of the thermoelectric cooling spectrum can guide designers to a particular product family based on the desired attributes for an application. Ideal for applications that require active cooling below ambient temperature, this illustration indicates which series perform best in air or liquid heat dissipation applications. Layered Thermal Systems provides the knowledge, innovation, and resources to ensure exceptional thermal performance in analytical, medical, industrial, telecom, and outdoor applications. Laird Thermal Systems manufactures thermoelectric cooler assemblies to strict process control standards and pass-fail criteria in order to assure that its customers are receiving the best possible quality products. Thermoelectric cooler assemblies can heat and cool by simply reversing the polarity of the thermoelectric cooler, which changes the direction of heat transfer. This allows temperature control under most ambient conditions to be very precise. Standard thermoelectric cooler assemblies have a cooling capacity spectrum ranging from 11 to 480 watts. Laird Thermal Systems series of thermoelectric cooler assemblies follow a product description nomenclature based on specific attributes. The part description indicates the type of heat transfer, cooling requirement, voltage, fan type, and if applicable, the temperature controller is used to deliver precise temperature control. This makes it easier for an engineer to understand the difference in each model. In order to reduce the temperature of an object or chamber, heat must be removed faster than it is generated. There are two primary attributes that a designer needs to determine to specify a thermoelectric cooler assembly for an application. The first parameter is calculating the required cooling capacity. This is achieved by estimating the total heat load of the system. This consists of calculating the active heat load, QA, passive heat load, QP, and for outdoor applications, the radiant heat load, QR. The active heat load consists of the load from objects to be cooled, powered electronic devices, and dehumidification of air. Heat from active devices can simply be measured by input power to the device. When the object being cooled is at a lower temperature than the ambient environment, heat from the ambient environment will naturally be drawn to the cold source in order to reach equilibrium in the surrounding environment. This is known as passive heat load. It is critical to minimize the parameter as thermal shorts in the system level design will require the thermoelectric cooler assemblies to pump more thermal energy. As a result, the thermoelectric cooler assembly will be less efficient. Therefore, insulating the chamber walls or objects to be cooled will maximize the efficiency of the thermoelectric cooler assembly. For outdoor applications, the radiant or solar heat load must also be considered, which is infrared heat generated from the sun. Solar shields are commonly used to reduce the effects of solar heat load. The second primary parameter is defining the temperature differential, or delta T. This is defined as the difference between temperature in the ambient environment, TA, and the desired control temperature of the application, TC. TA is generally chosen to be the worst case ambient temperature for a particular application. The performance graph can be found on the thermoelectric cooler assembly data sheet. The left y-axis in this graph shows the heat load pumped from the cold side in watts. The bottom line, x-axis, shows the temperature differential between ambient and the inside return air, delta T. Find the delta T on the bottom line and follow it up to where it intersects with the curve. In this case, a 20 degree C delta T equates to 30 watts of heat being removed. Laird Thermal Systems has developed the Thermal Wizard to help engineers simplify and speed up the process 
of specifying and selecting the right thermal solution. The web-based specification and selection tool assists engineers in quickly determining the optimum cooling solution based on their cooling requirement. In this example, moving the QC slider to the application's heat load and clicking Submit produces a quick selection table of the most optimum thermoelectric cooler or assemblies for the application. If you do not know the cooling requirement, QC, for your application, the Thermal Wizard provides four calculators to help you determine the QC requirement based on your application. In this example, we are determining the heat load for a sample cooler enclosure. The Thermal Wizard cooling calculator prompts you for all the information necessary to produce a QC estimate. As you can see, there are three enclosure examples of different sizes to help you get started. Once you have determined the QC requirement, you can utilize the QC slider to specify the appropriate series of thermal management products and select the optimum solution. There are calculators for device cooling, enclosure cooling, air cooling, and liquid cooling each with pre-programmed examples to help you quickly define the QC value and get your cooling solution underway. Laird Thermal Systems Temperature Controller product line is specifically designed to precisely control thermoelectric cooler assemblies in closed loop systems. Feedback from a temperature sensor is used to vary the output of the power supply to control the temperature of an enclosure. Our controllers are ideal for applications requiring cooling and heating modes, heating and cooling systems, or refrigeration only. Laird Thermal Systems offers three types of controllers, single directional thermostatic, proportional integral derivative, programmable and bidirectional thermostatic control. A single directional thermostatic controller can maintain a constant temperature set point within an enclosure surrounded by a relatively constant ambient temperature. The set point tolerance is defined by a hysteresis range. Once the set point is achieved, the controller shuts off the thermoelectric cooler assembly. When the control temperature changes to outside the hysteresis range, the controller turns on the thermoelectric cooler assembly and restarts the cooling mode process. This cycle continues until the controller is shut down. Refrigeration mode in an indoor environment is a good example of this where a narrow temperature swing can be tolerated. Proportional controllers use proportional regulation to maintain a constant temperature with no swing in the control temperature. This is accomplished by using a PID algorithm to determine the output value and a pulse width modulation output to handle the physical control. Proportional controllers are often used in heating and cooling systems where the temperature must stay constant with no change regardless of the change in ambient temperature. The PR59 is mountable at the system level and comes with software to connect it to a personal computer. Settings can be adjusted while the thermoelectric cooler assembly is running, which is beneficial for product development. A bi-directional thermostatic controller operates in the same manner as a single directional controller, except the output can operate in both heating and cooling modes. Controllers with a bi-directional output are used for maintaining a constant temperature within an enclosure surrounded by an ambient temperature with a much larger temperature swing. Outdoor kiosks are a good example of this. In summary, Thermoelectric cooler assemblies are compact cooling units that control the temperature in analytical, medical, industrial, telecom, and outdoor applications. Laird Thermal Systems offers a wide range of thermoelectric cooler assemblies designed for specific heat transfer methods, cooling capacity ranges, and size constraints. Sizing of the unit is straightforward by matching the performance chart of the thermoelectric cooler assembly to the primary attributes specified for an application. Laird Thermal Systems also offers thermostatic or proportional temperature controllers to drive thermoelectric cooler assemblies in closed-loop feedback systems.